Good evening. My name is Patois, CEO and founder of Bottoms Up Production Agency. We're here at Jaca Music Recording Studio, uh, John Renation. I have here in the studio with me um, Seuss and well, who I call Snickers, this boy right here. And uh, we about to try to get in their heads to see what's going on with their art form, you know, where it came from, what they think about, you know, when they be in the studio. Just trying to see, just trying to feel their flavor, find out some things about them. All right, so I'm going to start off with you, Sue. <laughs> Let's start. Okay, um, do you write songs? I write songs all day. You rap? Rap all day. Mix beats? Mix beats all day. Yeah, my, your mom told me that you stay in the studio. And, you know, I'm just trying to get in your head because I'm not a rapper. I can, but I'm not one. I don't do beats, but this project, um, is to really get in the heads of this generation. And this generation is very creative, they're very expressive, and seemingly um, the culture is saturating, you know, our nation. So, uh, my challenge to artists in Basel Production Genre Nation is uh, the lyrics. You know, I want to really challenge the artists out here to be more responsible for their lyrics and the sound of what's getting in the ear gates of the generation. So tell me, I want to know, what, what are you thinking? Um, you know, I want to know about where your passion comes from. Is it just out of your imagination? Is it things that you're concerned about in the world? Is it just your life? Is it day to day? Where do you get your, where does it come from? It comes from my heart. It comes from a lot of imagination. Uh, a lot of, you know, uh, passion to, you know, have an ear for, for the music, for the art. Um, just got to go with what your ego is, you know what I'm saying? Because everything, like I said before, you know, I said all the time, you know, it's a gift from God, you know. And it's definitely sealed into you when you're a child, so you got to know how to express it. And, you know, to get back to the community, you know what I'm saying, what the community is looking for, you know what I'm saying, you got to really watch what you're saying to the music, you know what I'm saying, because they do forcing out kids nowadays. Because um, once you make a record, you know what I'm saying, your record always will be heard, so it's always important, you know what I'm saying, to put a positive message out there. You know, being a part of Public Enemy, you know, inspired me, you know what I'm saying, I'll be my life, you know what I'm saying, being a part of, you know, because I've been a lot of places, met a lot of people, um, and how to, you know what I'm saying, continue, you know what I'm saying, to do things like this, to keep me up and running, to, you know, put it out there to the people for them to enjoy my music. You know? So you, you have a concern about your audience. You have a concern about them enjoying the music. You feel that you should be responsible for your art form. No, most definitely. Yeah, because once you, you know, you go to a concert, you know what I'm saying, people witness first what they saw and second what they heard. First what they saw and second what, and they, heard. Second what they heard. So expression has a lot to do with it. It's just like being an artist, you know what I'm saying? You paint the picture. When you're on the stage, you paint the picture. So you got to paint the picture for what the audience is looking for. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you bring them to your your atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? You take them out of theirs and think outside the box. So when they see you perform on stage, you paint the picture. You know what I'm saying? For them to actually see what your emotions is and what you're feeling and how you, you feel about what's going on inside inside your body. You know, a lot of people can relate to, you know, what you might be going through. You know what I'm so, so, so your art form is more relation, relational, or are you trying to give a message, or is it both? Definitely want to be a better translator. You know what I'm saying? To carry, to carry out a better expedition, being a like uh, a puppet master to make the audience dance. So that's exactly what you know the puppet master <laughs> does, make the puppet dance. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to create a, a, a atmosphere where old, new school, you know what I'm saying, get together and party. Yeah, I heard your. Uh, I heard your CD. It's, it's really nice. I'm I'm impressed, oh, I'm and that and that's 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 not easy to impress me. But I'm very impressed, and I'm <laughs> thinking about uh, working with you. I wouldn't mind doing a background 
put on the whole armor of God. Yeah, you're very, 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 very talented. I mean that. Really, you are. I appreciate that. So, you are. That right there keeps me going. Yeah, you're very talented. And um, it's really good what you're doing. And, you know, I know a lot of the people that I'm interviewing, they got a lot of stuff out there that's really X-rated. But my challenge, again, is the lyrics. And it can be done. Right. Because I believe that's where your real art form is. Anybody can curse people out or express their anger. It's okay. This is an expressive generation. But what Bottoms Up Production is about, we're challenging. We want to shift a little bit. We, 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 we want to try to shift the atmosphere a little bit to give our youth and our young people that's coming up something, like he said, to look for. Something. And this is going to, some of the stuff. You know, some people don't even consider it to be legendary. It's just more cultural, and it's very limited when you're cultural. You know, it's just within a certain group. But I'm challenging. That's why it's called genre nation. We're just challenging every genre, you know, to take responsibility, to just try to consider this. It'll spread it out more. When you have a message and when you really, from your heart, feel responsible and think about your audience, I believe that's where the blessing is. You know, our thing is to mentor and not oppose. Just try to fill them because, you know, everybody has a story. Everybody's everybody's story is different, you know, so they're just expressing themselves. So, um, Snickers, I call him Snickers. <laughs> I nicknamed him Snickers, but his name is, what's your name? What name do I go by? I go by a colder name, I go by a white boy. And my producer name is Cocaine Beast. I know she don't want me to say it, but that's what it is. But that's what the challenge is. So yeah. it's cool beans. It's mm -hmm. cool beans. That's what the challenge We ain't even gonna edit that. Cause we that's my challenge. challenge. That's my challenge, not to change. It's a challenge. The thing is consider and the thing is be responsible. That's all. Mm -hmm. Do you do you want the young people to be remember remem rem remember you by White Boy, Cocaine Beats, Steve, Snickers, <laughs> which one? I mean, to be honest, I, I, I chose the name, to be okay, honest. Okay, but tell cause, me, let's talk about that. Okay, let's talk about it. The beat said hard, I want people to remember that it's like, that cocaine is a hell of a drug. So I want them to hear my music, and that's the hardest thing in the streets right now. Cocaine is the hardest. I'm um, not necessarily, but I'm just saying. It's no, a, look, 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 look. We're going to keep it real. Not necessarily, but yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? It's like a hell of a drug. I want people to, to take my music as like cocaine. Like they're addicted to it. Oh, okay. So we're going we gonna, to we, we gonna, we gonna take you in, in the back and take you through some uh, some, some de detox. Mm -hmm. You can come up with something else. Snickers is, mm -hmm. is addictive too. Yeah. I buy Snickers. <laughs> I love Snickers. I, I hide it. Snickers under like my that. pillow. We gonna work with Snickers okay. with this project. Is that cool? Okay. You, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna go into withdrawals if you, you can't no. say cocaine be. No. Are you? You gonna get the withdrawals? No. You gonna need <laughs> rehab if you can't curse no. in your song? No. Is that gonna pitch you freeze you up? No. So you so you can you can I'm challenging you. <laughs> I'm challenging you. Are you? Uh, what kind of artist are you anyway? I, I hear your beats in the back. I love them. I mean, I, I, I speak from previous past and previous adventures and, and things that have happened in my life. So, I mean, it would be a challenge to, to try it without kind of, but nothing's impossible. Yeah, because what I'm trying to do is what sets you apart? You know, I listen to music. I have to listen to it because this is my mantle. This is my mandate. I'm mandated. I'm on a mission. Yeah. So I listen. I gotta hear what's out there. You gotta know what's going on. So yeah. that's why I'm doing all these interviews. I want to interview different artists every week. I want to feel you because I, I don't understand. I know there's been a drastic change and it's changed the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. Everything is okay. It's cool beans. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm not attacking you. I'm, I'm not, not judging okay. you. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm challenging you though. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge you. Because you were born Steve. Your name is Steve because you are Steve. Mm -hmm. So when I hear it like that, when I'm hearing in the background, I love it. I love it. Can you imagine some um some some lyrics to that? Yeah. That ain't like about 100 percent or 90 percent like every word you gotta okay. So we were asking who I call Snickers a question about, you know, some things we gonna we gonna shift here, and I just want to get a little bit what's going on in your head when it comes to your art form mm -hmm. and um, 
Is it more out of your imagination? Is it what's going on around you? Is it out of competition? Is it something that you heard? You know, when you express yourself, like when you make these beats, what's on your mind? What's going on through your head? I mean, is it, what is it? Well, I mean, when I'm making a beat, it basically depends on how I feel. That basically depends. That'll paint the picture for me. Like Every if time? A, if I'm in a good mood, I make a happy a beat type of beat. If I'm, in a, if I'm mad, then, you know, a lot of hard-hitting drums, stuff like that, but... It all comes together. Like I hit the beat, the finalized project, before it's even finished. At the start of it, I hit the end of the beat, and then I'm just going through the process of putting it together. So, do you do you write music, write songs? Yeah, I write music too. Is it the same thing with that? Basically, and from past experiences, what I've been through in my life. That's basically what I write about. You tell a story. Try to. So, when you tell a story, are you just trying to share your story? Are you trying to encourage people with your story, or um, are you just venting or expressing, or do you think about your audience when you're creating? To be honest, I, I don't think about my audience. I, I basically just put how I feel on paper and then into the song. Like I said, past experiences, the way I feel, things I've done in my life. I mean, basically venting on the mic, that's about it. I can care what the audience thinks they were going to like it or they're not. Okay. So, so I, I want to challenge you to be my partner mm -hmm. or one of my partners with this project. You up for the challenge? Yeah, I'm up for it. And I'm not, I, trust me when I say this, trust me. Because there's only one you. Mm -hmm. And you have, you know your story. You experience your story. Yeah. Do you think that we can find a way where you can tell your story? Where you can be you, because I'm, I'm not here to control people's art form, that I want them to come. Yes. But I declare, I declare to you. Because it, it it's kind of disturbing in a way that one challenge can shut down a whole culture of music. Mm -hmm. And that challenge is just, you know, the, the lyrics of not cursing. Yeah. I can't believe that that one challenge can shut down a whole group of people. Artistic people, creative people, people with experience, people that's telling a story. Are you up for that challenge? Yeah, I'm up for it. That's what I want to hear. I'm up for it. Yeah, we'll because it yeah, because the thing about it, and I'm challenging everyone out there. Or I don't care what your genre is, go, go, rap, whatever. That's what Bottom Up's project is about, genre nation. It's about gathering every nationality. Every nationality, gathering every nationality, restoring essential sounds. That's what genre is. And I challenge everyone out there, we're doing a lot of projects with Bottoms Up Production has uh, the Guild of 2000, we're building a 2000 member musician, songwriters, and vocalist guild. We have eight workshops, a lot of them have to do with life skills, um, the music industry, contracts, we going to do a lot because you know, the group of people that I'm looking for, it's a lot that needs to be taught to them. It's not going to disturb your art form. But we want to polish you and cultivate you and get you ready so that your culture can be received and, and enlarged. See, because as long as it's this culture and it's just in certain, it's like it's in a certain place, certain area. You know, today is Chuck Brown's, he's the go God, what we call the Godfather uh, Go-Go. His funerals today, but he made a very uh, lucrative career out of his art form. And he didn't use, you know, cursing. And I know this is going to jack up a lot of y'all. Some of y'all going to have to go in rehab. Some of y'all going to have to be sedated. But if you have to go sleep, go sleep. Because that's when you're going to wake up with something. Because... Mm -hmm. This is a challenge. It is really a challenge, and it's really making me think. I'm like, man, I can't believe all of these talented young people that got stories to tell. Some of y'all been through some. Some of you been through more than what I've been through. I cannot believe that you cannot push a pen without words, or 90 percent of your song being words that when they play on the radio, you don't even know what's going on because they have to bleep it out so much. And Lord knows Hollywood don't have want to have nothing to do with you because they uh, associate it with. You know, gangs. And when somebody stereotype you or put a label on you, we're in trouble. So we need to 
rearrange some things. We need to, you know, consider. Don't don't be offended. It's nothing to be offended about, you know. I love the young people, and I believe, and I know it, and I'm going to keep going until I get it to pull it out you. And then that's when that authenticity is going to come. Because the question I've been asking all the artists, are you authentic? Are you uh, contagious? Or are you in demand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's it for now. Right now, we're going to say bye for now, and we'll see you next time. In the background, we're going to try to upload some of um some of um I call him Snickers. We gon we gonna do some of that cocaine beat so that children under twelve can look at this video. So we're gonna um sign off for now. Okay, this is uh Seuss and his C D is off the chain. We stay tuned for his C D and some of his his tracks. They off the chain. And and what you hear in the back right now, this is Snickers, white boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that reminds me of being in the carnival on a movie or something. But we gonna holler at you later. We'll see you next time. This is Patois signing off. CEO Bottom Up Productions. I'm a little tired. Y'all have a good day. Good night. Peace. <laughs>